I'm Paul Wiegraf. I'm the director of the Delaware Division of the Arts, and representing the division, we are proud to, to sponsor this program, this Youth Peace Art Exhibition uh, here at the Delaware Contemporary. Uh, what Delaware Pachman Terrace has done in putting this program together for a number of years now is really phenomenal. It helps us in, in connecting the arts to important social issues, uh, teaching our youth uh, how the arts can be used uh, to explore ideas, uh, to vision the future, and to really stretch themselves to communicate in ways beyond the written word. Uh, I'm stricken with this exhibition here at the Delaware Contemporary in its diversity, not only in the, the participants, uh, the interracial, the interfaith, uh, the interorganizational from public schools to after school programs to faith based institutions. It's really a phenomenal representation of the, the greater Wilmington and Delaware community, uh, the diversity of our community, and the diversity of concepts of peace and to visioning for the future. It really holds such great promise to see our youth uh, talking about, depicting, uh, presenting, and envisioning. Uh, our future in terms of peace and, and getting along with each other, understanding our differences, uh, and working together. Feel how that's changed your body to be able to sing together and listen to each other and make music together. A group of people you've never met before and we just sung together. Everybody, welcome. That's part of my job um, after what just happened is probably to bore you. But um, I want to welcome you, all the parents, everybody else. I do a few thank yous. There is going to be some other um, words said about to our artists that are in the room with us, and then there will be a few other people talking briefly after me, and then we're through with the day. So my first job here is to tell you a little bit about the organization that is putting this on. It's Pachima Terrace, which is now this year 51 years old. It's a Wilmington-based uh, grassroots interfaith nonprofit that is focused on peace with justice. Uh, it works collaboratively with groups all over the world, from the United Nations to local Wilmington organizations, to churches and schools, neighborhoods and individuals, to deepen, spread, and enrich peace in the world, nation, and the world. That's the commercial for Pachima Terrace. If you want more literature on it or further explanation, either talk to me or one of our staff people afterwards or pick up a piece of literature on the table out there. All right, thank yous. Most importantly, there are a number of organizations that have made it possible for us to be here, not the least of which is the Delaware Contemporary that has allowed us to and encouraged us to be in this room and the other spaces outside of here who have responded incredibly um, generously, graciously to the exuberance that you all have brought to this. When we thought when we had enough art to fill up this room, their response was, well, you can expand into the rest of the museum, which you all did. There's over 500 pieces of art hanging up all over the museum. And as soon as we're done in here, I encourage you all to see it and to read the captions. Uh, the other folks who have helped us out enormously have been the Longwood Foundation, the Delaware Division of the Arts, and the Wilmington Flower Market that have helped provide the resources that have made this possible. All right, now we get to the important, really important stuff. There's a bunch of schools and organizations that made this possible as well. These schools and organizations uh, organized themselves in a way that provided the resources for uh, the young artists to work on their vision of the future and uh, we 
thank them profoundly for their support. These folks, the teachers, are the selfless people who I was going to ask you to applaud at the end, but this is more appropriate. I think the teachers deserve uh, all of the applause and support that we can give them, especially these folks who, without a great deal of arm twisting, uh, leaped at this uh, program and allowed their students, encouraged their students to create some incredibly beautiful visions of the future, which you see all over the and I would like the artists in the room, the young artists who have put, you know, whose images, whose work is on the walls, to please stand up. Blessed are our 
are the gap closers. Blessed is our time together, and may we call upon the faith that we all have to send a blessing onto this art and the hands that create it, so that others may be blessed with the message of peace and live into a world capable of so much more. That all people should be together, even if you're in different cultures and communities. So, when I started school a long time ago, I do this when, it, when I was in kindergarten. Um, this is me, this is me, that guy too. Once I heard it, it was in a museum. I, I was kind of happy. I drew my wish for peace and what is needed for the world to be in peace. If one hand or one flag is missing from the ribbon, then our world is out of balance. The ribbon is broken. Everybody needs to contribute to the world to hold up and support our world or else it'll all fall down and, and the ribbon of togetherness will be destroyed. What inspired me to do this painting is that how peace can soar and how peace can travel like a dove soaring from one place to another. I go to First State Montessori Academy and my painting is about equality. Well, I go to Wilmington Montessori School and um, what inspired me to make this piece was um, I was just thinking back to my summer and I thought what peace was to me during the summer and it was llamas. I thought about kindness and peace to think about how I would help each other and that made me um, an idea to write um, all this stuff and it was very impressive how I could do it so I just thought of an idea and thought that would be nice to share something with the art festival. What inspired me to do a bubble around our safe earth is that our earth was sort of not um, coming together in peace, so a bubble around it would keep us safe and away from harm. Um, this, what inspired me is that I like art and I just want to do it because it's the best thing when you're bored and I just like to do it. It's really good to do. Peace means to me is when you're honoring birds and not like hurting them. Um, well, I learned about hugging and being kind and being peaceful. Who's in the picture? Me and my best friend, Graham. What inspired me to make this picture was because I have a best friend and we have known each other for most of our lives and he's like a very close family member to me and that is supposed to be me and him over the years. The thing that inspired me to do this picture is that I saw it in a book and I thought it would look really cool if I drew it. The teacher inspired me to do this when, when we were doing a project called just coloring the back of those with the back of the canvas with crayons. So what inspired me to do my artwork was for since we built a bridge last year in school, I decided to put that on my peace artwork, and I just find nature very peaceful. My name is Chioma Amaka, and I am the program manager for the Peter Spencer Family Life Foundation Ujima After School Enrichment Program. And today I am so proud that our after school scholars participated in a theme, an exhibit at our uh, after school program, what, is, what Peace Means to Me. And we had a really nice journey. Uh, first we had a PowerPoint, and then we had a discussion with our children, and we asked them about the different kinds of peace. And after our discussion, then they made sketches of what they wanted to, to draw and put in the exhibit. And after we refined everything, then they actually put it on canvas. And we were so fortunate to have uh, Demetrius Bolak to come and act as our consultant and to help our children. Hello, my name is Demetrius Bolak, artist, illustrator um, that uh, came together with uh, Mama Chioma at the Ujima After School Program. 
um, where we worked on the Peace Project. It was an amazing opportunity being able to work with some gifted children that were able to express what peace meant to them through uh, art and illustration. Um, I got to uh, instruct the children on how to use different strokes, different mediums in creating their canvas and uh, expression and how to create their ideas through different uh, forms of art. So it was a wonderful experience for me and I look forward to doing it again. So it's really a wonderful exhibition. Uh, the Division of the Arts is really proud to be a sponsor of this program.